and welcome back to Pride Inside. I'm Liv, my pronouns are she, her and I identify as a lesbian. The last few weeks have definitely been a time of reflection and activism by myself and the rest of the Pride Inside team around the Black Lives Matter movement, hence why we have taken the decision to reduce the number of uploads, giving space for the Black Lives Matter movement to be able to amplify black people's voices and experiences, share important information and petitions. So um, at university, I study politics, philosophy and ethics. And one of the things that we've studied is Thatcher's time in power. And we've looked into homosexuality um, during the 1980s and how um, Thatcher and her government oppressed the LGBT community. We've also looked at what the government implemented in terms of law um, whilst Thatcher was in power. However, we didn't really cover too much of the racism experienced in the 1980s under Thatcher's power in Britain. Um, so I decided to kind of take it upon myself to do a little bit of research because that period of time really interests me. But it's funny, I actually found it really difficult to find information and material. There's no kind of clear understanding of where Thatcher's views sat in terms of racism within the 1980s, although the one quote that kind of keeps reappearing when I've researched is this. People are really rather afraid that this country might be swamped by people with a different culture. This was said in 1978 by Thatcher in an ITV interview. Although she wasn't in power at the time, I think this really reflects um, society's views on the issue of race during um, the 1980s. It definitely highlights issues around immigration and people's views towards diversity. And I think there is a general fear of diversity at that time. Um, I think it's interesting that Thatcher is talking on behalf of the population and she doesn't seem to share her own views, but maybe those are her views, but she's just using them in a roundabout way. We can't be sure that those are her views or those are just a reflection of society. However, Thatcher definitely made her standpoint very clear on her views towards homosexuality. In 1987, at the Conservative Party conference, she said this. Children who need to be taught to respect traditional moral values are being taught that they have an inalienable right to be gay which as a lesbian is deeply upsetting. It highlights um, that homosexuality was seen to be something to be scared of and homosexuals were definitely feared within society um, and that they aren't normal. They need to, kind of, we need to kind of head back towards Victorian teachings and that is definitely seen throughout Thatcherism as an ideology. She also said, all of those children are being cheated of a sound start in life. Yes, cheated. Here she is referring to children being taught about homosexual relationships. Following this, an amendment to the Local Government Act 1988 was made. Section 28 was horrifying for LGBT people. Section 28 of the Act is entitled Prohibition on Promoting Homosexuality by Teaching or by Publishing Material and its purpose was to prohibit the promotion of homosexuality by local authorities. Following this, the government cut funds on teaching material to stop teachers from being able to teach their students about homosexuality. The school libraries were stopped from being stocked with literature and films with gay and lesbian imagery. This is deeply upsetting. Children deserve the right to learn about people 
that are different to them, to feel represented, to feel supported, to feel accepted. It breaks my heart to think that there were LGBT students sat in classrooms feeling like complete outsiders. Teachers feared talking to students about homosexuality or supporting students who were in the LGBT community out of fear of losing their job. LGBT teachers were forced to be silent about their sexuality because it, it could have had serious consequences. Now, I remember being at school and sex education was not inclusive at all. In fact, I only ever remember putting a condom on a purple plastic penis and that was it. There was nothing about sex education for lesbians like me or the LGBT community in general. Now, I know that if I had felt represented um, and were taught and was taught about how to practice safe sex etc and different types of families I would have found it a lot easier to come to terms with my sexuality a lot sooner so although I think we have made progress we haven't made progress quick enough I don't know what sex education is like in school anymore, but I can imagine that it hasn't made as much progress as it needs to. The government stated that Section 28 was actually to protect society and to stop the spread of disease. Now here it's referring to the AIDS and HIV epidemic. The AIDS epidemic had a supposed link to gay men. On the 5th of June 1981, a small group of gay men had a pneumonia type virus, which later became known as Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, which is AIDS. In August 1982, its first label was GRID, which stands for Gay Related Immune Deficiency. There was a belief that teaching about gay sex in schools would encourage men to have sex with other men. Therefore, that would spread the AIDS further. There were many people who thought that AIDS was caused by gay men and referred to it as the gay plague. The AIDS epidemic was definitely used to oppress the LGBT community even further, describing gay and bisexual men to be dirty disease carriers. The LGBT community experienced abuse from people they knew, strangers and the headlines. This led to many experiencing severe mental health problems and feeling inadequate and unworthy within society. However, the LGBT community were not going to stay quiet. In fact, the day before Section 28 was passed, a group of gay rights activists inv invaded the BBC News room, heading into the six o'clock news and chaining themselves to Sue Lawley's desk in protest against Section 28 being passed. And after Section 28 had been passed in the House of Lords, a group of lesbians abseiled into the House of Lords, which I just think is hilarious. It's amazing. They just wanted their voices to be heard. They didn't want their human rights to be violated. They wanted to show their distaste towards Thatcher and the Conservative government. It's just crazy because this feels so prehistoric. It feels like I'm talking about a time that was hundreds of years ago, but 1980 was only 40 years ago. It's actually ridiculous. And this law was passed 32 years ago. We have such a long way to go. It's not okay for the LGBT community to be treated this way. We are humans, we have rights. We deserve to be understood, to be represented, to be accepted, to be supported. I hope this video was of interest to you. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to Pride Inside and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.